Hi friends, today we will see about CA workload automation AE components. Below are the components of CA workload automation. They are event server that is database, application server, web server, scheduler, agent and client. We will check one by one in detail. Event server. Event server, it is a database which stores all the information of a job such as job name, machine, calendar. So all details it will be having. Application server and scheduler both will interact with the event server directly. As CA workload Automation AE supports various databases like Oracle database, Seabase database and Microsoft SQL server. So there is a need of vendor database client installation to access database from the client machine. The scheduler and application server interact with the database using this vendor specific native code libraries so that is a, about event server we'll go to next that is dual event server dual event server is nothing but having two event servers like we can configure CA workload automation AE instance to run using two event servers and this configuration is called dual event server mode two event servers are synchronized to maintain identical data and this data is used when one event server is down it might be during uh, hardware problem software issue or network problems we'll move to the next slide application server application server it just act as a communication interface between event server that is a database and a client utilities client utilities are like uh, job uh, information language jills and all the other attributes so it receives requests from the client utilities queries and it will query the database and returns the response to the client utilities scheduler scheduler as you know it will continuously polls the database and uh, suppose if you find uh, if it finds like start job event so it will check the conditions of the job if the condition of a job is met it will trigger the job so when you start the scheduler it continuously scans the database for event to process now we'll check about high availability what is high availability high availability is nothing but configuring the second scheduler this second scheduler is known as a shadow scheduler shadow scheduler runs on a separate computer and it takes over only if the primary scheduler is fail if the primary scheduler is down then only it will switch to the second scheduler that is a shadow scheduler this configuration is known as high availability next component is agent agent what it will do it will allow us to automate monitor and manage workload on different operating environments like the client and client machine might be a window machine windows machine or it might be a unix machine so if it is a unix machine the job should be a unix job if it is a windows machine then it should job should be configured on a uh, windows platform so agent will allow us to do those things agent it can also extend its core functionality 
by installing or allowing to install uh, agent plugins as well uh, we'll discuss about the agent plugins more in the next coming videos we'll next go to the client client is nothing but it will include um, command line interfaces cli such as uh, jill job information language auto rep commands ca wcc services and even sdk we'll move to the next web server web server is used to host the web services that's it for this video friends hope this is useful thanks for watching